My name's Pete Woods, you're watching Hexen TV. Who are you? I'm Claudia, Claudia Sacher, and uh, currently I'm standing in Hexham's library in the Queen's Hall. And um, you have just photographed uh, a new painting I have finished today. So you're an artist, Claudia, and where are you based? Yes, I'm based in Hexham, and I've been living in Hexham uh, for 20 years now. And uh, I came over from Essen, from Germany, and uh, ever since I've been working and living in Hexham. And what inspires your art? Life. <laughs> Gestures. Yes, that's it. And what um, means do you, do you use for your art? What do you create your art on? I always start with a, with a drawing, with a charcoal drawing. Charcoal is my main tool. And um, I transfer those drawings uh, onto different materials. Uh, often the drawing is um, dismantled or destroyed. In a pro I'm interested in, a pr in the process. And um, often I use it in, in performances. Uh, I collaborate with other people. At the minute with dance art artist Esther Huss, uh, Esther Huss. And also with Karen Melvin, who's a photographer. And we create... Uh, scenes um, in, and create short performances. And you've got a particular piece of artwork here today. Can you tell us about this piece of artwork? Mm, this piece of art with bird work shows a, a bird and uh, it holds a huge scene in its beak and uh, the scene somehow shows a circle of life and um, there are some things going on. There's a person diving into, um, into something um, and there's a flower and there's a person lying. Maybe the person is sleeping or maybe not alive anymore. There's another person which has no legs um, and they're all interconnected with each other and they're interconnected with the plants as well. And um, maybe there are shadows, but, in, but the other way around. And what does this piece of artwork say to you? Mm, I'm, I'm still f trying to find a title, um, but um, usually um, I, um, I hear a poem in my ear. <laughs> it sounds a bit... Uh, there's a day, there will come, there will be a day when I find the right poem for it, uh, I might write it myself. And um, what, where is this piece of artwork destined to go? Um, I have some ideas that may feed into um, a collaboration with Esther Huss. Um, she's a dance artist and I'm the visual artist in our um, collaboration uh, with Jeremy Bradfield as well. He, he produces sound and maybe in a, in a movement we will use the work to create um, sculptures or maybe we move under it and make the, the scene move like, it, like this could be turned into a kind of movement and maybe it will turn into a coat where we, where we cover each other. Um, or it m might be hung up like a theatre backdrop and inspire the whole scene with the sound, sound and movement. I may cut it uh, or turn it into a huge paper cut, which was also a plan. So this piece of artwork is about 30 foot by about uh, 10 foot yeah. in mm -hmm. size. How mm -hmm. long did it take you to complete? Um, I started the, uh, the drawing a couple of years ago, um, the white main drawing. And um, I recently found it in my studio, hidden in a suitcase. And uh, when I opened the suitcase, I remembered, oh, I have never finished this work. And so it's difficult to say how many hours or how many weeks, but I would say may maybe, maybe three months all in all. And uh, we're kindly here at um, the Hexham Library. Yes. Because mm -hmm. um, you wanted some photographs of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And. Um, a friend of ours, a drone pilot, Dave Preston, mm -hmm. has kindly agreed to uh, use his drone to try and get yes. some mm -hmm. photographs. What will happen with those photographs? Will you use them in your studio? 
Um, I, I'm, I think I will use them uh, uh, in my next project, if I may. And also I use them to apply or I will... Another idea was to um, uh, make prints from them, from them and then uh, from the prints make a laser cut. So uh, the white uh, people will look um, maybe black and maybe different colors uh, and produce smaller um, yeah, paper cuts from them. Um, so this, therefore the photos will be very useful besides documenting. If people are interested in your art, Claudia, where should they go to see more of your art? Mm, yes, I have a website, claudiasacherart.com. Sacher is my last name. It's like a Do you want to spell that? Yeah, it's like the chocolate cake so, uh, from the Hotel Sacher, Vienna. You know, it's a chocolate cake, cake. Sacher Tort, <laughs> you can remember. S A C H E R, claudiasacherart.com. Um, or I, um, I usually uh, exhibit in Northumberland and um, then I'll probably use social media to advertise. Claudia, thank you very much for talking to Hexham TV. Thank you very much as well. So Dave, you're the drone pilot. I am, yes. Yeah. Um, is this an unusual project for you? It is. Everything I've done with this so far has been outside. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a new challenge and uh, an enjoyable one. And what difficulties have you found um, using the drone inside on such a large piece of artwork? Uh, trying to get high enough to get all of the artwork in, which we didn't know until we tried it. Um, interference with the signal between the drone and the controller and having no GPS, which means you can't always control it precisely. So um, do you think it'll work okay? Yes.